Hi gamers. I'm really proud to be able to present to you finally my complete Wii U game collection. The Wii U came out uh, in November 2012, so about six and a half years ago, and I guess I've been collecting for the console uh, from the uh, one year mark onwards. Of course, I've had, uh, I've been on top of new releases for like two or three years now, so I could have done this uh, a lot earlier, but uh, I wanted to wait out for the uh, final game on the Wii U, the Axiom Verge Multiverse Edition, which just came out from uh, Limited Run Games. Of course, it's possible that uh, Ubisoft does Just Dance 2020. Uh, uh, let's see what they announce at E3 this year. But uh, for the time being, this is now the uh, first time uh, since uh, the uh, beginning of the console that there are no uh, announced games that are still coming out. So now that uh, we finally have Axiom Verge, I figured now is the time to do this video. I've done uh, two collection videos uh, previously, uh, a work in progress of, of my Wii U collection. Uh, the first game, uh, first video, I talked more about uh, my impressions on the games, and the second video I showed uh, all the uh, covers of the games that had come out uh, during that time. If you're inter interested in those videos, check out the uh, links in the video description. But uh, this video is, uh, I'm going to be talking more generally uh, about the Wii U game library and uh, what it's like collecting for the console. The Wii U had a total of 213 unique games. So that's that's what I have here, 213 uh, games altogether. And out of those, uh, the US had 164 releases. Uh, and uh, in Europe we had 163, so one less. And in Japan, 116. So uh, the US has... Uh, uh, has has the most amount of games by a margin of one, and uh, Japan uh, in a decent third place. But I got here a lot more than 213 games, uh, if uh, uh, if we count all different editions and variations, uh, stuff like that. Uh, then uh, there are a total of 314 uh, releases out for the Wii U. And out of those 314, I have 308. The six uh, variations that I'm still missing, you can check out from the video description. Out of those, uh, those uh, 314, uh, 225 came out in, in Europe, uh, 214 came out in the US, and 138 in uh, Japan. But yeah, uh, I really like the uh, Wii U library. Uh, it was a fantastic machine uh, back then. Uh, nowadays, uh, uh, with uh, a lot of uh, its uh, best games ported over the Switch, it's not as important. Uh, but there are still some uh, very nice uh, gems on the Wii U that hasn't been ported to any console. So uh, the Wii U is uh, is it's, it's still a very very uh, important machine at least to me but uh yeah uh i guess the reason why why i wanted to uh start collecting the wii u was well, basically i guess it was obvious from uh, uh quite a an early stage that it was more or less a failure it is uh, if you don't count the virtual boy it is uh, nintendo's worst performing console so that means that there are uh, uh not lo not a lot of games coming out uh to the console, so that's that's why I decided to uh, jump in at the one-year mark when I saw a bunch of uh, bunch of games at uh, dirt cheap prices uh, at a bargain bin, and uh, yeah, I uh, went from there. Uh, then I started scouring every uh, online store for more cheap games, and you know, I guess I got like 80% of these games uh, for for. Uh, either a little or a lot less than their uh, intended price uh, as new. So while there is uh, a lot of uh, money in this uh, collection, uh, I don't think it's uh, it's uh, as much as people think. So I really went all out in bargain hunting 
and that was really one of the uh, better things uh, in uh, collecting a modern console. You know, this is my third uh, complete uh, game collection after the Nintendo 64 and the Nokia N-Gage. And, uh, you know, collecting retro games, it's, uh, it's a very different beast. You're just looking at eBay mostly for the missing games. But yeah, uh, with a modern console, uh, every trip to, uh, to the supermarket, uh, uh, you know, uh, could net me uh, a couple of games. And I uh, really, really loved uh, checking out those bargain bins. If a game came out uh, in Europe, that's the version I, I have here. And in addition, I have every uh, US and Japanese exclusive here. So, uh, yeah, as you can see from Japan, uh, and the spines here, lots of uh, uh, Dragon Quest and Monster Hunter online games here. And there's the Axiom Verge final game. Uh, really happy to have that on my shelf, finally. But yeah, there are, uh, like I said, over a hundred uh, different variations. You got also all sorts of uh, amiibo sets here and uh, sets with uh, a Wii remote. And I uh, also really love uh, how they handle these uh, European uh, special editions with the uniform U logo here uh, in the front. And uh, of course there are your standard Skylanders games uh, with uh, a dark edition, uh, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, about uh, the uh, more valuable or rare ones, I guess uh, one of the uh, standout games uh, is here, which is uh, only uh, available in Germany. The premium edition of uh, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate which uh, includes uh, stickers that you can stick onto your gamepad and Wii remote. And uh, yeah, not, uh, not really that much to look at, but this is definitely one of the rarer and more valuable Wii U games out there. And uh, another uh, quite uh, an interesting piece here as well. We got uh, the physical edition of Pokemon Rumble U, which uh, well, it is uh, a download-only game, but uh, uh, in the UK, the uh, game store called Game had these physical editions, which includes some some uh, physical goodies here. And uh, when you bought the game here, they printed out uh, the uh, code for the game. So this is uh, a kind of kind of a physical game, uh, and uh, very difficult to find these days in complete form. And uh, another uh, really cool edition here, and one of the uh, more valuable ones, is uh, Zelda Musou, uh, or Hyrule Warriors from Japan, the treasure box here. I really like the uh, black and white box here, really stands out. And uh, here we have a couple of uh, interesting uh, games. Uh, one a game that really drives me crazy. You know, I, I love uh, the uniform look of the European uh, spines here. It's the, the, the same same uh, blue color as the cases themselves. But there's one game, uh, Turbo Super Stunt Squad here, which uh, has uh, ruined the perfect uh, uh, row of uh, spines here with uh, uh, leaving out the little uh, patch of blue here. I hate that. But of course you have the green uh, uh, new Super Luigi U case here all together, so it's not completely uniform. But hey, you have to put these in alphab alphabetical order. I wouldn't have it any other way. And uh, I guess one other uh, game that I, I wanted to mention here is a bit uh, um, quite surprising. Uh, definitely one of the rarer games to get in complete form is the Japanese version of uh, Skylanders Spyros Adventure, the very first game in the series. And uh, you know, the first game here, Spyros Adventure, didn't come out uh, in Europe or uh, the US. It just came out in Japan, and this is actually the only Skylanders game, uh, the game that has come out in Japan. So uh, that's the only way to get this, and it's really difficult to get this in complete form. 
I've been to Japan multiple times and uh, I have never seen this out in the wild. And there are no copies on eBay. And uh, finally, I, I think I found mine on, uh, was it Yahoo Japan Auctions? So really, really difficult to get uh, in, in complete form. You know, not, not valuable, but uh, rare. So if you see one, try to snap it up. People always ask me, why do I want to collect even the bad games for a console? And um, to me and uh, many other collectors, the value of a collection uh, is more than the sum of its parts. It's, um, to me, it's a complete uh, console. It's, uh, I really like the fact that it's, uh, I've pre preserved something 100%, uh, you know, not just the good ones, but uh, the bad ones as well. You can play the bad games and have a, have a laugh at them, but uh, all in all, a um, 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 complete collection is uh, it's 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 to me um, I'm uh, it's a piece of history, piece of uh, uh, a pop culture, and uh, just uh, just a beautiful thing. And uh, you know, I I wouldn't uh, uh, you know take uh, bad games uh, or like uh, tons of sports games or something like that to my shelves for any console. You know, if I'm not collecting every game for the machine, I wouldn't want bad games even for free. Uh, I wouldn't accept it. But uh, if it's part of a complete collection, then it's uh, a totally different thing. And uh, I, I hunt, hunt down uh, each and every one, one of those games. And uh, yeah, it, just the uh, thrill of the hunt is uh, it's more, uh, more than enough of its uh, own reward. As such, uh, it, it would be very easy to get just the good games because those are uh, plentiful and uh, successful and uh, many times the uh, bad games didn't do that well and uh, you really have to hunt down for this, those games. So it's uh, both. Uh, I, I feel like I have a better collection even with the bad games uh, if it's uh, you know about a complete collection and it's more satisfying to uh, uh, hunt down. Uh, a complete collection. Not sure if I'm gonna be attempting uh, another one uh, anytime soon. Maybe the Dreamcast, maybe not. Uh, and when I say Dreamcast, uh, I mean the PAL uh, versions uh, of the games. There are so many Japanese releases that uh, <laughs> I don't have the uh, time and money for that. But yeah, and uh, many people have asked me if I'm going to be doing the same for the Switch. No, I'm not. The Switch is very successful and there are, I think there are all already like uh, as many uh, unique physical games out for the Switch as they uh, there are for, for the Wii U. But uh, yeah, I, I really love the Wii U. I love the aesthetics. I uh, love the games and uh, I love the, love the gamepad as well. Um, I think Nintendo had a hard uh, hard time um, marketing the the machine. The name was uh, kind of bad from a par marketing perspective, and uh, people just weren't prepared to pay a premium for the gamepad. But uh, to me, as a family man, I, I really saw the uh, appeal of uh, of another screen that you can you know give uh, to your child or uh, play yourself on the on the second screen, the gamepad screen. So it was. Uh, a really, uh, really excellent machine uh, in that respect, and uh, you get all the uh, unique games that uh, wouldn't have been uh, possible uh, in the same manner on uh, you know anywhere else, like uh, Zombie U, for example, a brilliant uh, launch game for the uh, Wii U, and uh, of course it came out on other consoles as well later on, but it's definitely the best version on the Wii U thanks to the second uh, screen of the gamepad. Um, check out my top 10 uh, Wii U games from the uh, top right corner. Click on that if you want to know what are my top 10 favorite games for the machine. And uh, follow FinGamer on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting my Wii U uh, collection. Uh, uh, all these years, uh, my uh, original uh, Wii U uh, collection video is still my uh, number one most uh, watched video on my channel. Hopefully this, uh, this video will also interest people. If you're interested in uh, seeing a full list of the uh, Wii U games, I, I made a spreadsheet. Uh, 
that uh, link is also in the video description so uh, all the games all the vari variants uh, all their um, release dates it's it's all there and uh, you know uh, you know compiling that spre spreadsheet it's 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 been a really a real treat uh, for for me uh, it's uh, really fun doing the uh, doing the uh, research work uh, all over the internet and uh, uh, marking it down and uh, um, I think many people have referenced my my spreadsheet when they started out their own Wii U collections so really happy to uh, uh, give uh, something back back to the community as well and uh, yeah really happy to have finally the uh, complete Wii U game collection thanks for watching I'll see you next time Bye.